Hello, my name is Holland Timmons, also known as The Connoisseur, and today I will be reviewing Star Wars, The Clone Wars, The Complete Season 2. Now, this series continues to improve as it goes on, and several new characters are thrown into the mix, as well as new storylines and plot developments as well as some new story arcs, which I'll get to in a second. As you can see, this is the cover with Yoda. There's the back with Anakin, uh, Ahsoka, Obi-Wan, the bounty hunters, some clone troopers. Oh, and the Zillow Beast, we'll get to him. This pays homage to the good, the bad, and the ugly right here. You can see, El Bueno, El Bruto, La Bella. Um, very nice. Um, anyway, disc one, the Holocron Heist. Bounty Hunter Cad Bane infiltrates the Jedi Temple to steal a valuable Jedi Holocron. Now this holocron actually tells the Jedi about the force-sensitive children that are being born so they can gather them and bring them to the Jedi Temple to receive Jedi training. Yes, Cad Bane is hired by Darth Sidious, and the end of this story arc takes place on Mustafar, where the great sword fight happens in Revenge of the Sith, the Great End Sword Fight. Landing at Point Rain, Jedi Knights lead a landing party to destroy a droid factory on Geonosis. Actually, that's a pretty cool arc where they go back to Geonosis to clean up again. And uh, it actually leads to a fairly cool story arc, a cool episode. That's where you get to meet the queen of the Geonosian insects. And you actually get to see them fighting this undead horde of dead Geonosian soldiers and insect creatures. It's really creepy, but really good. Um, if you ever wanted to see zombies in Star Wars, this is where you go. Again, as you go through the series, you get to see how badass Ahsoka becomes as a Padawan, thanks to Anakin's training. Captain Rex gets injured and he's brought to a farm where he finds a clone deserter and there is this battle between Rex, the clone deserter, and this all these assassin droids. I'm not sure if they're called assassin droids. They're essentially these new type of droids and they're really badass and it's a hell of a fight. Um, I'd really recommend that episode. It's really good. Mandalore. Duchess Satine and Obi-Wan set off to uncover the truth behind the Mandal Mandalorian Death Watch. That's where you get to meet Death Watch for the first time, which is like this rogue terrorist organization hell-bent on restoring Mandalore back to its warrior ways. And it's led by Pre Vizsla, who has this really cool black lightsaber, which was stolen from the Jedi Temple generations ago. Uh, it's a really interesting mystery plot that actually uh, keeps going into space. Um, I don't want to give away too much, but as you can tell, I'm really liking this season. Bounty Hunters. Jedi Knights team up with deadly bounty hunters on Felicia to protect spice farmers from pirates. I have a few things to say about this. One, the pirates are led by Hondo, which is a great pirate character, which I love in Star Wars The Clone Wars. I think he's funny and dangerous. Two, the spice farmers. Um, there's a lot of mention of spice in Star Wars, like how Han Solo is a spice smuggler, how they're the spice mines of Kessel. And, uh, it's a lot of spice references. I don't know if you know this, but the spices, they used to make a drug, some kind of narcotic, so, yeah, there's that. Um, 
Um, Bounty Hunter is, is essentially an homage to Akira Kurosawa's Seven Samurai, a picture I just saw recently, and it's quite good. A little long, and you have to read a lot of the text, which can be a chore. But it's quite a good film. I would recommend it, especially for those of you planning to see the new Magnificent Seven movie. Uh, you should check out the source material. Anyway, going from Akira Kurosawa's Seven Samurai is the Zillow Beast and the Zillow Beast Strikes Back, which is George Lucas's idea of essentially a Godzilla type episodes, couple of episodes. Um, so it takes Akira Kurosawa's film and then goes into Ishiro Honda's film. I don't know if you know this, but Akira Kurosawa and Ishiro Honda were best friends. And Akira Kurosawa made these artistic pictures as well as samurai flicks. And Ishiro Honda was mainly known for Godzilla. And these two episodes really pushed the limits of the hardware and the software of Lucasfilm Animation. Which led to improvements in Season 3 and onwards. It's thanks to these episodes we got even better animation. So then there's Death Trap, R2 Come Home, and Lethal Trackdown, which has essentially a young Boba Fett trying to avenge the murder of his father, Jango Fett, at the hands of Mace Windu. He's clearly trying to kill Mace Windu and comes very close several occasions, on several occasions, and he's assisted by Ara Singh, who you get to see during... Episode 1 on the uh, pod race scene. She's there watching, so she makes a return. And that's not her last appearance in this show. But overall, I would say this is a really good show. And in terms of Season 2, it definitely improves. The animation's improving, the storytelling's improving, and... There's some great homages to uh, sci-fi, samurai, and giant monster. It's just really cool. So as you can see, this is the interior. And as you can see, there's a very Godzilla-like poster for the Zillow Beast. I think it's great. Um, again, I can't say enough about the Zillow Beast episodes because, again, they really push the technical boundaries of what they could do with those two episodes, and they're really worth watching. I have guessed this has gone on long enough. As you can see, just like season one, the packaging is really good. Um, they went with a different sort of packaging from then on, but overall the first two seasons, the special edition packaging is really great, and I would really recommend the second season as well. If you're into sci-fi warfare, um, yeah, Star Wars The Clone Wars, it's definitely in my top five. Uh, Again, this is Holland Timmons, also known as The Connoisseur, signing off. If you like the video, comment, rate, subscribe, do whatever. I'm just doing this as a hobby.